Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this event. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something in the air. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything the here in WWE. The backstage, Corey, has been growing with every minute. Everybody's raring to go. No doubt two of the cockiest superstars around. The most must-see tag team in history. Correct. You can't deny their success as a team individually and in Hollywood. The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match. It is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. At a combined weight of 436 pounds, The Miz and John Morrison. The Miz and Morrison will go to any lengths to capture a victory. Relentless offensive onslaught between the two of them. Byron Saxton's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Byron Saxton's got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. You guys, stop singing that ridiculous song. At a combined weight of 448 pounds, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions. Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin, the Hurt Business. chapter and this title's legacy begins here. The tag division is as hot as it's ever been and it's due to teams like these, the champions and challengers. Without a doubt, the Raw Tag Team Championship is the top tag title in all of WWE right now. Raw's tag teams prove it every year at Survivor Series. from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. Raw tag team titles hang in the balance as superstars square off in this extreme rules match. In this anarchy, we will see the Miz and John Morrison. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. And the champion is coming in knowing there is a huge point for a pen for the championship to the World DDT. Coming to the rescue. On the attack from behind. Neckbreaker. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, Miz turns the tables. Good kick. 
Nothing fancy there. Enough already. And Shelton expected that. Electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Sent flying is Miz. Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. And he's taking this to the outside now. The challenger's looking shaken. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Super out of the barricade. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God! Chip kick on the mark. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? A close count for the challenger. Just barely, but it counts. Yeah. Hooked up. DDT. Kendo stick impact. Dropping the elbow. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. It's like I always say, he who won the sledgehammer had the last lap. Suplex! Coming back into the... Oh, guys, watch this. Taking athleticism with a 450. Gonna see a new champ. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Scores the reversal on Miz. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. He has a right where he wants him. Bad predicament right here. Yeah. Bad attack for the championship. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Enough already. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Tagging this outside. This could be good. Oh boy, it's a baseball bat. We're going to end this thing with one big swing. Uh oh, new champion! Two. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. The challenger not looking good right now. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. Oh, gets put into the barricade. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Straining that trapezius muscle. An elusive Benjamin there. Close line. Out with their head. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. He climbs into the ring. Here's the pin to retain. Heads down to you. Two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Nails the midsection. Or a pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Pump handle slot. The champion into the cover. One, two. Kick out of the title fight continues. Almost inhuman at this point. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. This has just been an absolute massacre. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this could come from. We all know what Cedric's lining up for. Headed to the top row. Setting foot in the ring now. Cedric Alexander. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's looking to take this fight to a whole new level. Wow, what an arm drag. What a hit from Alexander. Here's the pentagon. Still not enough to put him away. He is 
revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, man. No! Oh, no! That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. He'll take things into the ring. He's got him now. Oh, what a leg sweep. Inside. He gets sent down to the floor. And Cedric expected that. And the champ looking worn out. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure. But not sure how much more tenable it can be. Staring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. The champ's shoulders are down. And the pin is broken by the champion. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Benjamin answers back. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. And a big boot. This one is headed outside, guys. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Ooh, a sharp kick. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. And returning to the ring. Oh, ho, ho. Had Miz's playbook scouted. charts.
Here are your winners and still Raw Tag Team Champions, Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander, The Hurt Business. An emphatic victory for your winners, an impressive effort from this duo. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. Rousey doesn't get paid by the hour. We're going to end this quick. I'm not sure anyone can stop Ronda Rousey. I've never agreed with you more, Saxton. The challenger is all business. She's been training harder than ever for this title opportunity. Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego can be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxon, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on road duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! And introducing the champion from the Queen City, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte!
anticipation building to see who will leave tonight as SmackDown Women's Champion. And the SmackDown Women's Championship fast becoming one of the most prestigious titles in all of WWE. Multiple historic WrestleMania main events will do that to a championship. Every woman in this industry wants to add their name to this title's short but illustrious heritage. Oh, look at that. Embracing her adoring public. Bang! Drop kick. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Oh, stomping away. Wow, look at that punishment. Incredible. Watch the competitors go over the barricade. The battle can go anywhere. Is there one thing a competitor must remember in this type of matchup? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you beat your opponent to the point they can't get up. The referee could count to 100. A superstar has got to make their opponent submit. Well, for some, that is the equalizer. An opponent could be stronger, faster, have more lethal offense. But if they cannot convert that to a tap out, it's all for naught. Attack from behind, right after the neck. The Queen's setting up. Ah, oh, the knee right to the face. Rousey connects and rolls through. Snatched by Rousey. Oh, Ronda with a Yaranagi. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Monkey flip! This is her time to shine, and don't you forget. Oh, Charlotte Waylaser. She makes her way back in under the ropes. She goes back inside the ropes. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Suplex. Here it comes. Nicely done. The challenger eating up some damage. Lined him up, boom, knock him down, ouch. And look at this now, bad intentions coming with this hole. Charlotte Flair, is she gonna tap out? I think it's only a matter of time before the queen taps. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Shift her weight and escapes. There it comes. Oh, there's a neck breaker. Jarring impact. And Charlotte setting herself up top. Perched up top. your competition. Ooh. 
Rousey to the outside. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. Countering the queen. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Up and... Face first, Flapjack. She locks it in. If she can bridge out to the figure eight, this one's over. Locked in tight. Charlotte into the bridge. Figure eight from the queen. Charlotte Flair can taste the victory moments away. It's only a match. Oh, there is no way out of the figure eight. No way at all. I think you might be mistaken, Saxton. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. Those last hits rattled the champ. Submission matches are all about grinding down your opponent. And that is what we've been seeing all this time. Elbow drop. Really just laying it in. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? It's only a matter of time before the Queen taps out. She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. Brilliant counter by Rousey. Look at this, Byron. Now taking control. Trouble in trouble. Tap out. She's got to tap out. She's going to get hurt. Seriously hurt. The jeopardy is real. Through an escape. That was pretty. Oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. Look at this, Byron. Submission move, submission move. Oh, it's the submission. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? I think it's only a matter of time. Oh, slipped through an escape. That was pretty. She sent flying into the corner. The swing out. Beautiful neckbreaker. Oh, yeah. She's saying, let's go. Bring it. What a chop. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. Great technique from Rousey. Gary up there. Will there be a reward? Uh. Ripped from the ropes with a shoulder breaker. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Here, here, is it? What's going to happen here? I think she's got an opportunity to turn this around. She's just got to shift her body just a little bit to get out of this. Uh. Ooh, couple of straight rights. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. After the neck. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Completely vulnerable atop the turnbuckles. 
Hooked from behind from the middle rope. Down with the side slam. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Guillotine. It's in deep. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? I think it's only a matter of time before the... Utilizing her power. Hoping to escape, and that'll do it. At this stage, Rousey's body must be screaming in agony. While Charlotte is clawing with everything she's got, both women are driven to be recognized as the absolute best. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, a chop. Strikes with a kick. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. The Queen! Oh, she misses the mark. Ooh. We all know what she's looking to do next. Flair moves at the right time. And Flair gets that turn back on her. to evade. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Oh. Support technique from Rousey. Beautiful elbows. And a spinning back kick, too. Listen to this place. She scores big with the counter. it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about the new champ.
Intercontinental Championship! From the underground of New York City, Damian Priest has arrived. Calm demeanor, but about to unleash chaos. Damian Priest is the genuine article, living the best rock star life. Champagne, jacuzzis, beautiful ladies on each arm. This dude is the real deal. And all business in the ring. Born and raised in the concrete jungle of New York City, Damian Priest lives to throw hands. Damian Priest has this unchecked rage, ready to attack at will. He'll shut you down, and in the end, he will turn out your lights. The Apex Predator has arrived. You would be hard-pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. And Randy Orton's methodical pursuit of self-serving goals is synonymous with his personality. A superstar who always gets what he wants. My sources tell me that Randy Orton wants you to go home, Saxton. Well, Randy's ready to consume more prey here tonight. You might want to take Corey's advice, Saxman. Introducing the challenger from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Viper. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. Plenty of battles waged over the Intercontinental Championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. Orton gets the better there. A series of reversals. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. And the DDT! Oh, just turn that around. 
Oh, colliding with the barricade. <laughs> Delivered into the barricade. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. The dangers in this kind of match are endless. By oh, new champ! And a shoulder in the air. Keeping a loss at bay for now. This crowd is truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. Sit straight into the barricade. And a big boot. Here's the pin. Title on the line. And it's a kick out at one for the defending champion. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Momentum has completely shifted to Priest. And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. Priest gets countered. Orton's finally able to slow all of those incoming attacks. The Viper got tired of being pushed around and is set to start covered by the champ. An early kick out for the challenger. Wow. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Gets him with the counter. Orton able to counter. Answering back. Getting creative here. Oh! oh man, the barricade got first. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. The champ kicks out with authority. Unbelievable display of will in the late stages of this matchup. Shoulder up before the count started. 
Crazy performance. Priest dodges out of that. Boom! Thanks for coming. Nice clothesline. The Viper able to strike back and respond with a counter of their own. Stomping. Ouch. Look at this. Priest able to avert that. Hits him with the counter. Taking his sweet time coming out of the crowd. No reason not to, Saxton. He's got all the time in the world. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Got him where he wants him. Up and down. Fucking arrow. Incredible. Cover for the championship. And that kick out from the champion. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. Orton has ended so many matches with that, but it did not do the trick just then. And he was ready for Orton. Oh, right down with the crossbody. Point in a false count anywhere match. There's no way you didn't expect things to be going much, much worse for him, Cole. Able to interrupt the attack. Belly to belly suplex. Away. 
A kick out before one by the challenger. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Ooh. Classic Orton. Had the Viper scouted. another look at what made that match so special. the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.
the phenomenal AJ Styles is in the house. I'm ready. Here comes KO! surrounding the ring here and all of them are legal in this matchup. Not only legal, Cole, but they are necessary to secure a victory. Styles taking it by surprise. Wow, picture perfect moonsault. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Owens avoids that one. And he's able to reverse. All reaching the top of the ladder is the main objective here, Corey. What else should these superstars consider in a ladder match? You need to be sure of yourself. When it comes to placing the ladder or swinging it, you'd better be sure of what you're doing or it could cost you greatly. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Driven into the barricade. Oh, brutal form. Into the barricade. Ah. Hooked up. Yeah. Shin breaker. Uh oh, he's searching for something. Big boy. DDT. He gets back into the ring. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Going right after the neck. Big time neck breaker. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And he's got that glint in his eye. That sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, great. Now for something painful and tall. Getting back into the ring. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. He's heading back to the ring. 
Oh, it's not going to be good. There's return fire on AJ. Some of his win now. Spring. Great escape by Owens. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. Impressive counter by KO. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. Wait, 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 all the way to the top. A long way up there. He's trying for it now. Gotta act fast. I'd be shocked if this is it, Michael. Boom! Oh, no. Look who's arrived. Things are about to get worse for this superstar. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Attack to the midsection. Oh, back drop, super on a high angle, right across the shoulders. Enough already. Boom. That's just hard to watch. Setting it up in perfect position, too. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. You never know. This could be it. Oh. Hey, you missed 100% of the shots you don't take, right? And when you miss a shot, you don't usually fall 15 feet. What a shot. Perhaps a match-saving move right there, guys. Man, oh, man. Looks like he's got him where he wants him. Yeah, but this will not end well, I promise you. This is it. He could do it right here. Come on. He got to go quicker than this. For once, I agree with you. So very close. Well, that didn't work. Now, yeah, going up at this point seemed like a bit of a Hail Mary anyway. Showtime! Reaching out, looking to get the win. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, but you got to pick the time to climb the ladder wisely, or it could backfire. He's setting up the ladder now. Looks like to me he's got him in the right spot, Michael. I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Yeah, it's never too early to try. He's got it in his grasp. Hey, when you have the opening, why not go for it? I don't believe it. Hanging on with a death grip. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. just overwhelming him here. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Yeah, KO will have something new to complain about if things stay this way. He's been complaining about your commentary for years, Saxton. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Setting it up in the corner now. Well, that corner just got a whole heck of a lot more dangerous. Look at Owens, top row. Styles. 
Placed in the corner. He's dazed in the corner. And up against the steel ladder, too. Don't bury the lead. Moves outside. What's the plan here? All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Positioning it right in the center. Stunner. Wow. Stole one from his opponent's artillery. Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Now you just got to climb. Pratt trying to get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. Doesn't appear to have a good handle on it. Reach. Reach. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. And now he's continuing the fight up top. And they're taking the fight to the sky. This is insane. Hey, he, he could win it here. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Looking to snatch a Vic. Oh, no. No way. It's not off the top of the ladder. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, off the top of the ladder. And a brutal stretch for Owens, who is just rocked. We know KO loves to fight, but he might not be able to take much more of this. Big opportunity here, guys. This could be a turning point. He's close down. This could be his moment. I don't know, Michael. It just doesn't appear to be coming. To Word of warning. Don't look down. Yeah. Let's keep holding on. Oh, God. Styles and Owens showing how far they'll go to destroy one another. We're being taken on one hell of a ride, and it is not over yet. He's a projectile now. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. Owens intercepts it. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. This could very well be it. You could very well be right. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Getting the ladder situated right now. A good spot, too, right in the center of the ring. Call me crazy, but it looks to me like this match might be over here. Close! Oh, he's going to do it. He's good. Searching for that next level there. It's a testament to Owen's toughness that he might be able to pull this off. He's got that ladder right where he wants it. Now what? Here's where you want to leave no room for error once you do decide to set up and climb. No, 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 no. Look at the love of God. From the caution to the win, and both superstars pay the price. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. survive and pull through.
taking another look here, you can see how the ladder just introduces a whole other element. to pull out a big victory. AJ Styles, I'm certain, can't be pleased with that outcome. Definitely a less than phenomenal night for Styles. and swagger about herself. Becky's about to stake her claim as the man. Yeah, I don't see her claim being denied here tonight. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. Well, you're looking at the future right here. like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, th th those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. Winner of the 2021 Royal Rumble. Don't worry, Saxton. You're the EST of the announce team. The first four letters are D-U-M-B, however. That's not funny at all, Corey. Nothing funny about Bianca Belair from bell to bell. A SmackDown Women's Champion who main evented WrestleMania. I believe that Bianca Belair is both the present and the future of the women's division. No argument from me. There are many more titles and many more main events in the future of the EST. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! And introducing the champion from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair! The highly sought out Raw Women's Championship.
This is all about being on top of the women's division on Monday Night Raw. Waving the red brand flag high and proud. That is what the Raw Women's Championship means to these women. Oh, oh my gosh, what impact. Covered by the champ. Is there something to focus on when preparing for this career-altering match? You gotta accept the fact that you're gonna be punished like you've never been punished before. And no mercy will be given. In this situation, you can completely unload on your opponent and a referee's count can't stop you. You can set the rule book ablaze. Pick perfect drop kick. Here's the pin title on the line. Still no end in sight here. And oh, she'd had enough of that. And here is Bel Air forced out of the ring. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Elbow drop. Piercing. Stomping down. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, breaker. Belair able to counter. Off the barricade. Ooh. <laughs> Kicked in the gut. There it is. Big Splitter Suplex. <laughs> right across the face. Hooked up. Fisherman Suplex. the kidneys. Golly. The champ getting put on the back foot here. She's feeling it. And the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Got it. Right left can cause some serious damage. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. Ooh. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Up and around and down. She's in the ring now. Brass decision making there proved to be. Oof. She is not amused in the slightest. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh my! Sledgehammer right to the gut. Got it. That left sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Big form. She gets Becky with a counter. Back into the ring. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. And she's pulled out a steel chair. That could be an equalizer inside the ring. Myself the same question. I have no idea. Bel Air getting ready. Oh, yeah, 
she is really showing her confidence. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Ooh. Put into the cover with a title on the line. New champion. New champion. Two. Oh, close call makes the champ nervous. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. And Becky now getting in position. performance places her right in the corner she's dazed on the top turnbuckle and it's a long way down from there this won't end well looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle this is not good I don't know how there's anything left in these superstar bodies yeah the tank is being emptied tonight pulling up high with the punch Oh, it's punishing the right arm. Producing a trampoline. Catches the leg. Take down. Here's the pin to the line. And the champ can't keep the shoulders down. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Taking this to the floor. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. A oh, kendo stick wrapped around the head. She's into the ring again. And no count outs mean she has the whole outside to play with. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? The champ has been taken to the limit. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. for something beneath the ring. And of all the toys under the ring, she settled on the baseball bat. Might I remind everyone, this isn't baseball. Bianca expected that one. Back straight into the post on the outside. Back in the ring now. She will wisely return to the ring now. She's trying, trying to create space. Placed into the corner. Oh, forearm connects. And Belair is giving every bit as good as she's gotten so far. Yeah, Lynch possibly biting off more than she can chew at this point. Covered by the champ. And a strong kick out at one. The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means, how much one is willing to go to to claim themselves as the new champion. Belair gets countered. Hooked up. Fisherman who suplex. Is it up? The cover. And the champ gets free at one. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the... Becky Lynch, has got it sixed in. has got it sixed in to disarm her. Is she going to tap, 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 tap? What does she have to do to get out of this? Tap out. Oh, this trap, but she gets away. Counters that. Turned up was the only thing keeping her upright. Consulting. She wants to put an end to things here. Get no stick impact. These superstars.
superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. She's finding the strength. This is unreal. Strong takedown there. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. is one of the best I've ever seen. It was incredible. She came into this match with one thing on her mind. And would you look at that? It came to fruition.
is gonna be good. WWE Universe, it's time to play the game. Make no mistake about it, the King of Kings is here. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. For Bobby Lashley, business is always good.
There's only one Mr. WrestleMania. He's a showstopper. Four superstars in what is easily one of the most challenging types of matches in WWE. In this fatal four-way, we'll see Triple H, Finn Balor, Bobby Lashley, and Shawn Michaels. In this type of match, you have to watch your back at all times. There's never a moment where you won't be potentially in the crosshairs. The only way to guarantee safety is assuring you can turn things around into a one-on-one -on -one fight. And if that Hoping to end it here! This is it! He breaks the ref's count before two. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Oh, my gosh! He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Corey, if it four-way has to be one of the most manic types of matches we see in WWE. Well, it's hard enough one-on-one, -on -one, Cole, but now you have three other superstars gunning for you. The key here is it's only one fall, so you need to be proactive in preventing it or making it happen yourself. My goodness, did you hear that, job? Control. Oh my god, a pile driver. Russian leg sweep. Face crusher. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Side headlock applied. Re-entering the ring now. some gas left in the tank. Capitalizes against the game. Ooh, stiff punch. Triple H sent flying to the outside. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Will it be? I think so. He returns to the ring, kicking out before the count. These one counts are going to get harder and harder yeah. to kick out of. Jumping double stop. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, Lashley with good timing on the reversal. Shifts it back onto it. Oof, nasty looking inverted suplex. Back suplex. Uh oh, on oh, the power of the strength of Dominator. Float over. Seeing right now, no one can. Paying it right back with a He's turning the tables. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Into the barricade. Saw that one coming.
side of the ring now. What's the plan here? He got whipped into that corner. Oh, and he stays ahead of Triple H. What grace float over in the DDT. This could do it. He enters under the ropes. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. This is going to come down to... Eyes in the drop zone. Oh, he misses the mark. Oh, he retaliates. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Oh, right to the throat. Can this jump G have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace? They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. Returning to the ring now. Finn turns it around. Into the hammerlock. Oh, back suplex. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Ooh, that's good, Bruce. Sent into the corner. What grace float over in the DDT. And guys, now, now I see blood starting to flow from the face of Triple H. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target practice. Oh, you're not lying. Here he comes. Oh, He's going for the pin. This could be it. He stops the count. But very effective. The game down might be it for Triple H. Double down. Two. And Finn Balor is your winner. Well, it wasn't literally fatal, but it was pretty close. Take a look. four-way match an amazing performance outlasting three different opponents it was a real testament to his abilities
Ah, the Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. Completely different mindset than his first time around in WWE. You know, for years, people always talked about the potential of Drew McIntyre, what he could accomplish. Well, it seems finally Drew McIntyre is embracing those expectations. Well, the chosen one has now become the one. The head of the table has arrived. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns. While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. Introducing the challenger from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. The bell is rung and you can feel the excitement in the air. The WWE Universe has been eagerly awaiting this match. Well, with the Universal Championship up for grabs, history will be written here tonight. So you know we're seeing these competitors at their very best. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. Launched his opponent overhead, belly to belly. Reigns had that scouted.
locked in the midsection. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh my God! The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. things around. He saw it coming, taking advantage. continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to injury here. I know, I can't imagine what's going to happen next. I can't wait to find out. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Four. Five. Interrupting the count. Probably looking to deal some more damage. Looks like he is ready to return to ringside. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Quick return to the ring. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. And stopping the count for some reason. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Look out! And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Able to get the advantage here. He deflects it right back. Oh, come on, really? It looks like they're not done inflicting punishment. Referee has to break the 10 count now. What's he open to find down there? He has the kingdom stick. I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Now, come on. This is just too much. I agree. The ref had already started to count.
sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Six. Count gets to seven. This is close. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Roman Reigns has just taken command. McIntyre's strength is getting totally nullified by Reigns. He steps foot in the ring again. Four, five. That stops the count, so this match will roll on. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh. Feeling that more work needs to be done here. This is crazy strength. Oh, bad landing. He steps foot in the ring again. And he's up. Referee's 10 count broken. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. To the outside. This could get wild. Now would be the time for everyone to clear it. Wow, they look in his eyes. This isn't going to be good. He's got nasty plans in mind. can withstand the savagery of these competitors, not even on tables. This match going to end up bringing the whole arena down. There is no limit to the destruction we can see here tonight. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any road ninja attacks. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Getting close to 10 here. Now you got to dig deep. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. is going to continue. Heading back to the ring. He climbs into the ring. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ah, suplex. Reigns hangs on. Another one. A third? Set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the corner. One, two. Oh, man. Oh. Tough position to be caught in here. Some hard offense landing on the champ. 
And taking this kind of damage is unsustainable. Getting up from the count of 10 is going to be impossible at this rate. And ready to keep going, it looks like. Oh. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. One, two, three. And stopping the referee's count? That was silly. Either that or it was deliberate. Perhaps looking to make a statement. He returns to the ring. Six. 
That's seven. We may be getting to the end. Eight. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Into the ring now. The big dogs unleashed. Drew's power currently being suppressed. There are no words for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It has been a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Leave the side. Jeez. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Oh, he had the wherewithal to counter McIntyre. I think we know what's coming next. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And he's taking this to the outside now. He's heading back to the ring. Big counter from Reigns. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Focusing to reverse that. Put into the corner now. Drew fending him off. The big dog had that scouting. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Superman punch in the corner. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Spear! The champ will stay champ. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Up that lived up to its billing, and then some. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! I have to think this win is a statement from Roman Reigns to the rest of WWE saying if Drew McIntyre couldn't beat me, how could you? Yeah, Roman came here tonight to end this rivalry and make an example of Drew. There's no question, Reigns and McIntyre represent the very top of the food chain here in WWE, but now Roman can distinguish himself as the undisputed head of the table. But if there's one thing we know about Drew McIntyre, it's that he never stays down for long. I'm sure in Drew's eyes, the story between him and Roman is far from over.